Well, hey there, everybody. It's Bob on the farm. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> got a few more Christmas lights to put up. And then uh, we'll get to work on the Aulis Chalmers tractor. All right, so here we are in the shop. We're with the Yalis Chalmers, and we've got some serious disassembly still to do on this on this uh, final drive unit. Um, things we got to do. First thing is we got to get. Let's see if you can see my finger down here. This this little uh, this brake um, drum uh, this brake drum needs to come out um, I have to rig up a puller of sorts and have the point of it here and reach arms down in there and grab onto into one of the holes or around the edge or something and give it a tug and hopefully we'll be able to get that out of there oh, my phone's ringing hang on Huh, okay, that was confusing with the with the camera there. So anyway, my phone rang and I had to leave you and had a conversation. But anyway, let's see. We'll get back to this. Maybe I'll just start over again with this thing. So anyway, we've got this uh, Alice Chalmers that is getting, well, it's getting some much needed love over here. Um, finally getting back to it it's been a couple of weeks and uh, so the things we have to do is we have to remove quite a few things out of here basically disassemble this entire uh, uh, final drive on here and I would move it around but it's heavy and uh, we'll get it we'll get it better views of it here um, when they are available so anyhow a um, couple of things. Let's see. We've got to remove all of the shafts and the bearings, um, which there's two. There's one kind of a shaft and bearings and stuff that go through this bull gear. And, and there's also uh, a bearing set on the other end of this shaft. Uh, but that this all comes out the other end once we get that brake uh, once we get the the, uh, the brake drum once we get the brake drum out of there so uh, so that's probably going to be the second thing I try to do today tonight it's getting late anyway um, this one bearing cap uh, where does that go? I guess that goes on the other end of the uh, of the the main drive shaft there that runs that bull gear, and um, this has a, a race that's in here, and you can see um, it is rusted in pretty darn good. So I think what we're going to have to do there is we're going to have to heat it up, and hopefully that will. Uh, cause a little expansion so we can pry that out of there without melting the camera melting the camera would be a bad thing and then we will use the cutting torch as a heater as a heating torch and we will heat up heat up this area right in here where the where this bearing race is at and hopefully get it warm enough so we can pop it out Fire! 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and just heat this thing up. Hopefully that'll relax the back you guys up a little bit here, or you might get thin. <laughs> once I get this thing heated up, I'm not sure how I'm going to hold it. I guess I'll have to get a pair of ice grips or something and ice grip it down or a pair of, uh, oh, I know what to do. I'll get a uh, C-clamp and I'll just C-clamp it right down on the middle there. And then we'll have that frying the uh, bearing race out of there. that thing up so that maybe as it shrinks it'll expand and then as it cools it'll shrink and hopefully that'll make it so we can get it out of there there are a couple of like prying slots or places to slip a puller in there I don't have that puller so I'm hoping that I can make this work the way I've got it here Not buying it. I'm not buying a puller for a tractor that I'm only going to do this once on. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to be my last Alice Chalmers. <laughs> First and last. Alright, let's give this a try. All right, let's try to pop this out of here. I'm going to need a screwdriver instead. pry bars in underneath this edge here. Oh, I think it's moving. I think it's moving. Oh yeah, now that's that's loose. That is loose, loose as a goose. I don't know how loose a goose is supposed to be. But I do know that this thing's going to have to need some time to cool down because Coming. Ha ha! Success! Alright, that's one thing. I did a thing! <laughs> I did a thing. Alright. Alright, so. That is the bearing race from that one bearing. Now we're going to have to get a part number off of it. Whoa. We'll let that cool down and see if we can't find a part number on there. It should be somewhere around on here. And we'll let that cool down and then we'll get a little wire brush on a drill and clean this up and be ready for the new one when we get it. So. All right, I'm excited. I got one thing done that looked difficult, and it wasn't that bad. All right, so the next thing. <laughs> the next thing is 
You have to try to pull this brake drum off of here. Um, in order to do that, I have to go get some pieces, parts. Um, my my one puller here, ah, this puller right here, is not long enough. It's not long enough by oh, a good three or four inches, a good five or six inches there. So, since I know that, um, I have two other pullers and I might be able to scab pieces and parts off of it and links and whatnot. And we might be able to make this long enough so we can do this. Okay, so what I started to say, I've got three pullers. I got one two jaw, I've got two three jaw pullers. Um, we're gonna try to cobble up a two jaw setup here um, in order to reach down and grab the. Uh, that brake, uh, that brake rotor, brake drum, brake drum. That's what it is. It's a brake drum. So, we're gonna use links and links and bolts from um, from the other two to extend the length on this. You can see I've already got this this one side kind of started here. I'm gonna put the put the links together so that I have. Uh, make this longer so we can grab that uh, uh, grab that uh, brake drum out of there. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on this and I'll show you what I come up with later because um, the two jaw <laughs> this side this end of the two jaw is the only one that'll fit is the only thing I've got that will fit through the little holes down in there to be able to to grab. So the two jaw it is. Okay. All right, I have gotten this puller sort of assembled here and I've got it mounted down inside the hole. I've got the, the little, um, the jaws caught in those little uh, holes down in the, in the brake drum. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put the, uh, impact on it and we're gonna see if we can break this thing loose so I'm gonna set you up right here so you can sort of watch what I'm trying to do and we're gonna get going here hopefully we will have success more success than the sliver of metal I just stuck into my finger all right. thing could be my downfall. Everything I've watched all said, ah, it's easy, this will work great. Yeah, sure it will. <laughs> Let's see, if I do this, then that can't turn, right? slowly. And boy, it sure doesn't look like it's... Well, maybe it is trying to move. I can see a little hairline open up in there. Let's give it another try here. 
I gotta have something to hold that that isn't my hand. Okay, we're sort of back. Anyway, you can see down here that that gear and old bearing have been pushed out by you running this uh, puller. And instead of pulling the brake drum out, we're pushing the shaft down through, which is fine. There. That's better. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's do this. Put that on there like that. Do that. Ha 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 ha! Oh, really? Seriously? Oh, there's a uh, there's a Woodruff key in there, isn't there? Well, shoot. Okay, so you should be able to see down in here. Let's see if I got something to point at it with. This Woodruff key, right there. That's what keeps the. That's what keeps that uh, brake drum from spinning on the shaft. And I need to get that out so that I can get this shaft out of here. So, uh, I'm gonna probably resort to pounding on something with a hammer. So that'll be great. And I'll let you know how I did. Well, I think... I think I have to give up for tonight. We've got some company coming over for some sort of Christmas thing that we're doing, so... Um, I gotta go get cleaned up a little bit. And, uh... Well, anyway... Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Um... We were at 199 subscribers today, and I think the 200th is probably going to hit tonight, and that would be pretty awesome. Um, so thank you very much to uh, everybody who has subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, why don't you just reach on down there? It's right. It's right. Where the heck is it? Um, it's right. Right down there at the corner of the screen. Push that subscribe button, and uh, you'll get to see the ongoing saga of Bob on the Farm.